In this session of DesignWorks TV, we're going to be focusing on a brand new release of DesignWorks. DesignWorks 10 for Autodesk Inventor 2010. As many of you know, Autodesk Inventor 2010 has gone to a new ribbon style interface. In staying compliant, DesignWorks 10 now has a new ribbon. This ribbon can be moved around the screen, docked, or placed up into the ribbon area. It can be selected by the DesignWorks ribbon tab or turning it on in the environment. The part we're going to talk about today is a simple um, prismatic part, but the advantages of DesignWorks is you can see a, a return on your investment about 7 to 10x on parts like this versus normally using convenient hand tools. DesignWorks is certified for Inventor 2010. So the first thing we're going to do is a simple alignment. We're going to tell the device how to align to the part. In this case, it's very similar to the way you would build a plane in Inventor. We're going to simply press the button three times on a plane and create the base plane. Now, the digitizer device knows where it's at in the Inventor session. We're going to go ahead and select the XY plane and actually start a brand new sketch. Our first thing is we want to capture the outside profile. As you can see, it's got a lot of curves and it's a different face. So we're going to go ahead and use the curve tool in DesignWorks. And we're going to tell it to automatically take data about every eighth inch and auto close it. So you simply can hold the probe against the face of the part, depress the button once, and drag. You're going to notice on the screen it's capturing temporary data to show you where you're working. As we get somewhere close to where the end of the curve would be, we can stop. We can tell it to automatically close the profile. The outside profile is created as a native sketch entity directly inside Autodesk Inventor. Now we're going to go ahead and we need to give this part some height. So we're going to use the extrude button on the Design Works ribbon. We're going to simply hold the probe to the height we want to be. Notice it captures the value of the height. Automatically puts us into the Inventor extrude feature and we accept it. Notice in the feature tree all these features can be modified and changed. That's the key benefit of a feature-based reverse engineering. Now we want to capture some design intent. We're going to pick the face of this part and select a new sketch. For the first two bosses I want those fixed. I'm going to build them as a, by design intent. DesignWorks has the ability to constrain your parts on the fly. We're going to go ahead and do a fixed constraint. We're going to simply take three points around this boss. And you notice the circle is created with a fixed constraint. We want to ensure the next boss um, has the most accuracy possible. We're going to do a best fit. You can set a minimum distance for the probe to drag. I simply depress the button one time and drag it. It does a best fit. The third boss, we don't want constrained. We're simply going to use three points. To gain the height of this, we'll use the extrude feature on the DesignWorks toolbar. We'll simply hold the probe to the height. It captures the value. It automatically takes us into the Inventor Extrude. And all we have to do is select our profiles. The key to your success is knowing Inventor. It's 90% knowing how to use Inventor. It's 10% DesignWorks. That's why when you purchase DesignWorks, you can readily build parts within minutes. Let's go ahead and work on these two inside slots. We'll pick a face and we'll sketch. Again, I want to use the profile tool. And I'm going to go ahead and do a best fit. Again, I simply hold the probe against the side of the part, depress the button, and drag. Again, I'll repeat it on the other function. Once we have our slots or our pockets here, now the nice thing is you could use the Inventor Cutter Extrude as well. If you knew the depth 
you could actually exit the sketch and use the inventor tools. That's the beauty. You can interchange between sketch tools and features along with all the DesignWorks tools. We're going to go ahead and capture that value. In this case, it would be a through all or to the depth I want. We simply come over here, import the value, pick our areas to cut. Now we're going to build in some design intent. On this slotted area, um, the most important area is this lower radius. So we're going to go ahead and build it totally parametric. Again, we're going to select the face and do a new sketch. I'm going to lock that down since that is my most important driving dimension. I am going to constrain that and do a fixed. <clears throat> Again, this can be done by three points or you can drag it. I do not want the larger radius constraint, so I'm going to turn my constraint off. That's one of the nice features of design works. You can build in design intent by using the constraints built into DesignWorks. We'll go ahead and do the top boss. And again, all these features are being compensated. Now we'll go ahead and we'll use like the constraint manager in Inventor. We're going to go ahead and make sure these are tangent. So we're going to create a constraint and we're going to use a tangent constraint. Then we'll go ahead and we'll trim this up. Using the inventor trim tools, we'll get rid of some of these areas. Then we'll finish our slot. Again, you can mix and match commands. There we have a fully parametric slot constrained by this area. Now we'll go ahead and we'll do a cut. Utilize design works. This is cut to a certain depth. We'll de hold the probe to that certain depth as you can see reflected on the screen. Depress the button to capture it. The values put into the extrude feature. We'll pick the profile to, to cut, and there's your cut. As you can see how fast we did this part. Again, compared to hand tools, there's about a 7 to 9x improvement. Tune in next week to DesignWorks TV to feature freeform shapes utilizing DesignWorks 10 and Inventor 10.